Hello, welcome to Special Kung Fu Science. We're here out watching the Perseid Meteor Shower um, with technical guy Tom, his brother Sam and friend Kurt. Um, the Perseids are caused by the trail from the comet Swift Tuttle and um, basically most of the, the, the dust that's left behind is no bigger than a grain of sand but it smashes into the Earth's atmosphere at about 40 metres per uh, not 40 metres, 40 miles per second, which is very fast, which is why they burn so brightly when they go through the atmosphere. Um, there, it's, is it August the 11th now? Yeah. Yep, it's August the 11th now. They, they're peaking tonight and tomorrow, August 12th. And uh, the area of the sky to look at is the northeast. They're called the Perseids because they appear to originate, um, as you're looking at it, just from the sort of top... Um, left part of the uh, constellation Perseus, um, just below Cassiopeia, um, but they don't originate from there. Obviously that constellation is um, thousands of light years away, whereas we're actually colliding with a stream of dust. Um, it's really awesome. Um, I encourage you to go out. They happen every single year, so if you're watching this and uh, the time's passed, don't worry, next August um, there will be more. Um, and there's also other things like the Leonids in November, so there's a uh, Always lots of meteor showers. Um, what other exciting things are there about the Perseids? Uh, the, the comet last visited us, I think, in 1992. The comet was discovered in 1862. You might want to check those, though. I'm just remembering that off the top of my head. Um, and yeah, they're just pretty awesome. Um, go out there, give them a watch. If you're um, out there watching, get a comfortable chair because obviously looking up at the sky can be um, quite uncomfortable. Um, take a blanket or something warm. Also, it takes about 20 minutes for your eyes to get accustomed to the light. Um, that's because they take a while to produce the light-sensitive protein Rhodopsin. Um, and if you're outside, remember if you've got a torch, the white light can deplete your Rhodopsin levels. So put some red cellophane or something similar over it because the red light will help with your um, light sensitivity of your eyes. Um, nice thermos of tea is always welcome if you're a tea drinker and yeah just enjoy it um, the later you stay out the more likely you are to see lots of meteors at their peak they can have about 80 to 100 meteors per hour um, viewing conditions aren't ideal this year because of the moon um, it's going to be quite bright later which will possibly get in the way of things but um, you'll still be able to see plenty and uh, that's pretty much it um, we're going to stop filming soon because the light from this Mac is obviously affecting our light sensitivity with the eyes. So I hope you will enjoy watching the Perseids. Um, hat tip to Newbury Astronomical Society on Twitter. They set up the Meteor Watch hashtag. So if you are watching any and are on Twitter, use that. And uh, till next time, have lots of fun. Bye. And another thing before we forget is uh, Jupiter's uh, quite visible in the night sky tonight. Um, so if you have a telescope, look at that. But one word of warning, if you're looking at Jupiter through the telescope, you're almost certainly going to miss the best meteorite ever. And your friends um, will tell you that. <laughs>